In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to write equations for gas evolution reactions. Question one reads, write a molecular equation for the gas evolution reaction that occurs when aqueous nitric acid, which has the formula HNO3, and aqueous sodium carbonate, the formula Na2CO3, are mixed. The first thing that we have to do here is write an unbalanced chemical equation in which the cation of each reactant combines with the anion of the other. Let me highlight the cations. So the cation of this compound is H, and the cation here is Na1+. The anion here is CO3, 2 minus, and over here it's NO3. Writing our equation, we get HNO3 plus Na2CO3 produces this coming together with NO3. So we have sodium NO3 plus hydrogen coming together with CO3 carbonate gives us hydrogen carbonate. At this point, you have to recognize that this compound decomposes into H2O and CO2 gas. And we write these products into the equation. So I'll replace this with H2O and CO2. Starting from the left side, HNO3, this part doesn't change, plus H2O liquid and CO2 gas. This is where the reaction gets its name from. Lastly, we have to balance this chemical equation, and that can be done quite easily by placing a 2 in front of this compound, which balances out the hydrogens, and placing a 2 in front of this compound, which balances out the sodiums. Let's move on to question number 2. In question number two, we're asked to write a molecular equation for the gas evolution reaction that occurs between hydrobromic acid and aqueous potassium sulfite. And the chemical formulas of both are shown underneath. Beginning with our molecular equation, we have HBr plus K2SO3. The cation here, the potassium, will come together with bromine, and hydrogen will come together with sulfite. This gives us potassium which has a charge of 1 plus, and bromine has a charge of 1 minus, KBr, plus H2SO3. Remember, this anion has a charge of 2 minus. At this point, you have to recognize that this compound will break down into H2O liquid and SO2, sulfur dioxide gas. So let's rewrite this, KBr, HBr plus K2SO3, and make sure that this is balanced. If it's not, then it's wrong. So to balance this, we'll place a 2 in front of this compound and another 2 in front of here. Notice that the potassiums are balanced and so are the hydrogens and everything else as well. That's the answer to question number 2. Finally, in question number 3, they want us to write a net ionic equation for the reaction that occurs between hydroiodic acid and calcium sulfide. Let's do this quickly. We have HI coming together with CAS, and this produces, calcium comes with iodine, we have calcium, which has a charge of 2 plus, and iodine 1 minus, so we have CAI2 plus H2S, remember sulfur has a charge of 2 minus. Now at this point you're probably wondering what gas is formed, like in question number 1 and 2 we figured out what the gases were, but over here H2S is a gas. So keep that in mind when we produce the net ionic equation. Now we balance our molecular equation before we break this down. This becomes 2HI because that balances out the hydrogens and the iodines, and we're done balancing. Since this is aqueous, this one and this one, they all break down. So this compound becomes 2H plus AQ plus 2I1 minus AQ plus calcium 2 plus plus sulfur 2 minus yields calcium 2 plus plus 2 times I 1 minus and this stays the way it is because it's a gas. Canceling out the spectator ions this goes away so does this the calciums go away leaving us with 2 H plus plus S2 minus and this forms 
H2SAQ. This represents the answer to question number three, and that is how to write equations for gas evolution reactions.